Now we want to move into talking about derivatives of the natural log function, and then also expanding and talking about the chain rule related to that. So the formula we're going to follow for this is let's let u all right, be some differentiable function of x. All right. So the first off is the non-chain rule. So if you just have the derivative with respect to x of just the natural log of x, okay, this ends up being equal to 1 over x. That's it. Very simple. So anytime you see something like this, just the natural log of x, the derivative of the natural log of x, whenever you see it, it's, it's just going to be 1 over x. That's it. And this x is greater than 0. It's just respecting the domain of the natural log of x. Next, we have the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of u. OK, so here, the u is the inside part, and the natural log is the outside part. So you take the derivative of the outside. So the derivative of the natural log is 1 over whatever's in, inside the natural log here, inside the natural log function. So this is just 1 over u times, and then it's the derivative of the inside, which would be du dx. <coughs> or if it helps to see this, it's u prime over u. Okay. So let's do some examples just so you can um, see how this is done. And then we'll also we'll expand on this and do some even, even, even harder, more crazy ones. All right, so here will be the first one. Let's find the derivatives of the following. So here'll be the first one. Let's look at f of x is equal to the natural log of 3x here. All right, so notice here, I've got something other than x on the inside. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll do how I've been doing introducing this. I'll let u be equal to 3x. So this now becomes f of u is equal to the natural log of u. So going back, the derivative here is u prime over u. So f prime here is equal to u prime over u. So then the last thing you need to do is just return it to in, in terms of x. So u is 3 over x, or excuse me, 3x. And u prime, u prime, the derivative here, the derivative of 3x here is just 3. And look, you'll notice the 3s cancel out. And, and, and that will always happen if it's just a 3x like this. But let's, let's now expand it on this, OK? Let's look at this one. Let's find the derivative of f of x is equal to the natural log of 3x plus 1. So look, if it helps to see this, all right, you know, just as a quick, like, you know, very, very quick formula, it's the derivative of the inside divided by the inside, OK, whenever you see the natural log here. So it's the derivative of the inside. So this is my inside. <clears throat> so the derivative of um, 3x plus 1 is just 3 divided by the inside. Well, what's inside the natural log function here is 3x plus 1. All right, let's try this one. Let's look at f of x is equal to the natural log of, uh, let's do 4x squared plus x. All right, so f prime of x. Take the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the inside, bring the 2 down. This becomes 8x plus 1. The derivative of x is 1. Divided by the inside, which would just be 4x squared plus x. Derivative of the inside divided by the inside. Always remember that. Boom, boom. All right, let's do some other ones. Let's look at this one. Let's find the derivative of this. f of x is equal to the natural log of x squared. So you're going to have a chain rule here. <coughs> so here, the inside is the natural log of x, because it's underneath the square. And the square is the outside. So f prime of x is equal to, bring the 2 down. This is 2. Leave the inside alone, natural log of x. And then you get 2 minus 1, right? I'll even write that up here. Now you take the derivative of the inside. Well, what's the derivative of just the natural log of x? It's just 1 over x. So this is equal to f prime of x is equal to, well, 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is just 2 natural log of x times 1 over x, so divided by x. <coughs> 
All right, let's try this one. This one is really interesting. Let's find the derivative of f of x is equal to the natural log of the natural log of x. OK, this is the inside. All right, so f prime of x. All right, so whenever you have the derivative involving the natural log, it's the derivative of the inside. OK, well, what's inside the natural log is the natural log of x. OK, so it's the derivative of the inside. What is the derivative of the natural log of x? It's 1 over x, right? Derivative of the inside, u, divided by u. Well, what is the inside? It's the natural log of x. So this ends up just being 1 over x, the natural log of x. <coughs> so remember that. Derivative of the inside divided by the inside. All right. Let's try this one. This, is, this, this, this one is fun. Let's look at this one. So find the derivatives of the following. All right, so let's find the derivative of this here. So y is equal to the third root, or excuse me, the natural log, sorry about that, the natural log of the third root of 2x squared plus 1. So this seems like really crazy, right? So when you have something like this, just remember, use the log rules to simplify. So use the log rule to simplify first. So I can write this as the natural log of 2x squared plus 1 to the 1 third power. So my rules of logs, right, say I can bring this down in front, the exponent. So this is 1 third times the natural log of 2x squared plus 1. So then now dy dx, the 1 third is now just a constant. And this is so easy here, OK? Derivative of the inside, derivative of 2x squared plus 1 is 4x divided by the, whatever's on the inside, 2x squared plus 1. And that's it. Let's try this one. Let's look at y is equal to the natural log, and then this is, this is crazy in parentheses here. It's x times x squared plus 1 cubed divided by 2x minus 5 squared. <coughs> so what you're going to do here is you're going to use your rules of exponents, right? Division gets broken up as subtraction. So this natural log of x times x squared plus 1 cubed minus the natural log of 2x minus 5 squared. And now multiplication gets broken up as addition, right? So this is the natural log of x plus the natural log of x squared plus 1 cubed minus the natural log of 2x minus 5 squared. So what do you do next? Ah, oh, let me bring the exponents down. So y is equal to the natural log of x plus 3 times the natural log of x squared plus 1 minus 2 times the natural log of 2x minus 5. All right, so now you see so much easier so much easier to do this this way use breaking it up so then dy dx derivative of the natural log is just 1 over x plus 3 times derivative of the inside which is just 2x divided by the inside which is 2x plus 1 minus 2 times derivative of the inside well the derivative there is just 2 divided by 2x minus 5 so you could distribute the 3 here to get 6x and the 2 here to get 4. But I'm just going to just gonna leave it like, um, like this. All right, so when you see these problems, when you see these problems, remember to use your rules of logs here. All right, now let's, let's, let's end the lecture now um, talking about derivatives for bases other than e. Okay, and I'm going to prove some of these to you, actually. So let's let a be a positive real number, okay, just not equal to 1, and let u be a differentiable function of x. 
So if I have the derivative with respect to x of a to the x, no longer note that it's no longer e to the x here. <coughs> this is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x. If I have the derivative with respect to x of a to the u, so again here, the u is my inside part. So this would just be the natural log of a times a to the u, okay, instead of a to the x, a to the u, and then the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so u prime. <coughs> so if it helps to see it like this, this is the natural log of a times a to the u times u prime here. Next, if you have log base a, so no longer the natural log, right? Because the, the natural log is log base e. So this is log base a of x. This is just equal to 1 divided by the natural log of a times x. Here, okay, if you have log base a of u, and u is an inside, some, so some function of x, this is equal to 1 over the natural log of a times u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Or you could write it as this, u prime divided by the natural log of a times u. All right, let me let me prove some of these to you just so just so you know that they work. And it's very very simple like algebraic proofs. Okay, both of the proofs are actually in the text, but so let me let me just walk you through say say this this one right here. Okay, this a to the u or a excuse me a to the x is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x. So let's prove that the derivative with respect to x of a to the x is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x. Well, the trick here is to rewrite it. Okay, so it turns out that a to the x is the same thing as e to the natural log of a times x. Right, this is just, you know, the natural logs would cancel out and you would just have a to the x here. So now, if you're going to do this, the derivative with respect to x of a to the x is the same thing as the derivative with respect to x of e of the natural log of a times x. We'll just, just use the chain rule here, okay? This is this, this becomes, the derivative of this is e the natural log of a times x times, and then the derivative of the numer uh, derivative of the inside here. Well, the derivative of x is 1, so you're just left with the natural log of a. Well, look, what is e ln of a of x? Well, that's just a to the x, which is indeed the natural log of a times a to the x. <coughs> so I encourage you to look at the, the, the proof for, the, for this one here in the text. It's another very just simple, quick way. You, ju you just do a, a change of base in the logs formula, and then it's a really, barely simple proof. All right, but so for now, just you just have to remember the formulas, and then l let's do some practice problems um, just so we can make sure we have it. All right, so let's find the derivatives of the following. So let's look at y is equal to 3 to the x. So look, just going back, all right, 3 to the x, that looks like a to the x. So my a here is 3. So this derivative with respect to y is equal to the natural log of a, so this would be the natural log of 3, just times 3 to the x. That's it. Now let's try this one. Let's look at y is equal to 3 raised to the 2x cubed power. So this looks like what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do it as u. Okay, so I'm going to let u be equal to this 2x cubed. So I'm left with y is equal 3 to the u. So look, going back, this is the natural log of a times a to the u times u prime. So here my a is 3. So dy dx is equal to the natural log of 3 times 3 to the u times u prime. Well, now let's just substitute back in. So the natural log of 3 stays, that's just a constant, times 3 to the u. Well, I let u be 2x cubed. 
And then the derivative here, the derivative of this is just bring the three down. So this ends up just being six x squared, which you can, you can, you know, oops, which you can just, you know, leave it like that. Or you can even rewrite it as, you know, six x squared times the natural log of three times uh, three to the two x cubed. I got a little, little out of bounds there. All right, let's try this one. Let's look at um, let's look at f of x is equal to uh, log base five of x. So f prime of x here. So going back, log base a. So this is one over the natural log of a times x. So here my a is five. So this is one over the natural log of five times x, and that's it. <coughs> let's try this one. Let's mix it up a little. Let's look at f of x is equal to log base five of, let's do two x squared plus one. So look, look at this formula. It's u prime, so it's the derivative of the inside divided by the natural log of a times the inside. So this is my inside, this is my u. So you're just gonna use this formula, right? So the derivative with respect to x of log base a of u. It's just u prime all over the natural log of a times u. So for this function here, f prime of x, u prime, you get four x, divided by, so that's the derivative of the inside, the natural log of the, the, of the base of this log, which is five, so times the natural log of five, times the inside, which is two x squared plus one. And that's it. All right, let's try, uh, let's try this fun one here, okay? Let me uh, go to the next, this will be our, I've got two more examples and this will be our, our last two examples for this. So again, let's find the derivatives for the following. Let's look at uh, f of x is equal to just log of sine of x. Well, when you see log by yourself, by itself, just remember that's log base 10 of sine of x. Okay, so f prime of x. Sine of x is the inside, so okay. So what is the derivative of sine? The derivative of sine is cosine divided by the natural log of the base, so the natural log of 10 here, times sine of x. And then this is cool actually. What is sine over cosine? Well, sine over cosine is cotangent of x, so this ends up being just cotangent of x over the natural log of 10. All right, now let's do this one. Let's find the derivative for y is equal to three to the x times log base two, or sorry, log base two of x. <coughs> so you're gonna need to use the product rule here, right? So dy dx, the derivative of three to the x, well, that's just the natural log of three times three x, times log base two of x plus, I'm gonna leave this three x alone, times, and then the derivative here, you know, the base here is two, so this ends up being one over the natural log of two x. So, you know, even, even, even just cleaning this up, this is the natural log of three times three x times log base two of x plus 3x all over the natural log of 2x. So this was just, just applying, applying our product rule here. All right, class, uh, you know, we, we, I have done so many videos of this, or so many practice problems of these uh, chain rules here. But, you know, when you get a chance on your homework, it's just going to be practice, 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 practice. We'll make this, um, we'll make this easy for you.
And then as always, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know.